of Sudan as well. They have joined us for the post-match press conference. Um, Ignatius, could you please sum up how you saw the game? I think uh, it was a, a game that was really, really difficult. Ghana played so very well. I think they, it was hard luck for on, on, on Ghana's side because there were some footballs. Uh, my goalkeeper, our goalkeeper Mustafa, saved that I never thought it would be saved. So for me, it's hard luck on Ghana's part. They played very, very well. But again, for us, we were defensively solid. We knew it was going to be hard because they have the fans against them, uh, with them. And so they were going to come hard at us. So we were only waiting for some counter breaks, which I think we had two or four of them. But again, the end product was not that good for us. OK, we shall take five questions. Five. No. Coach Dela. Coach, my name is Dela. Coach, did you mention that Ghana were great in Kaza? But there are some few things that I think your team did well. One of them is you can get the team. A lot of occasions, most of our forwards, we had the ability to prevent them from having chance at the end. And it was not only a single player. We lose nearly seven. Most of our boys when they get to this country, is it a matter of you just being good as a job or you give special instructions to be a bit more careful when you come to this place? I think he can answer it for himself or he can answer. Are you, are you good at your job or you have specific instructions? <laughs> There is no specific instructions in the game of football, so you just play off your instinct and we've just done our job pretty well today. There is a hand up. Hey, hey, ask me. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, you did mention that the pre-match press like that uh, this was the kind of game that it wasn't really, you know, uh, to see like, you know, break game. Huh? Make, make or break game. Make or break game. For, for, for Sudan. For Sudan. But now the advantage goes to you and as you go up. And we have about three games now left. Are you now confident that you will qualify ahead of Ghana? We have always been confident from the start of the, of the competition because we take solace in the fact that at the, in the World Cup qualifiers, we are two points clear ahead of uh, Senegal. And for us, uh, Ghana and Senegal are of the same. Ghana is better than even Senegal. So for us, uh, we have always been confident that we, we are going to qualify. And we knew that if we won all our home games, that gives us nine points to qualify after Ghana lost at home and drew away. We knew that if we, won, if we win all our home games, we qualify. So this is a huge boost for Team Sudan because now it becomes easier winning two next matches and we are the Afghan with 10 points. My name is Sally Soma. I'm a very good friend of you. Uh, being a Ghanaian... Just announced that I'm, uh, you are my manager. Let them know you took me to Sudan. <laughs> Let everybody know. You made a right decision in getting there. But having Chris uh, Apia as your head coach, having an entire Ghanaian technical team, he knowing a lot of the Ghanaian players, would you say that that was very advantageous in the way you map up the game today and the points you got here? Football now is global because of TV. So we didn't, know, we didn't have to know the Ghanaian players by person or by what. All that we needed was their videos. And we saw how they play from their clubs. Luckily enough, they play in big clubs. So it is easier to watch them week in, week out, to know each one of them, how they play. And it, is, it has nothing to do with us being there. We played Mauritania, we beat them in Mauritania. We didn't know their players. We beat South Sudan, we didn't know their players. I guess you saw our game against uh, Angola. We didn't know their players. So it is not about we knowing the Ghanaian player. It even gave us more of a, a problem because when you know somebody 
through and through, and he changes his style a bit, it becomes very difficult for you. So it wasn't an advantage for us. I think we have a good technical team. Let uh, Ihab and, and the rest, uh, Salah, very, very experienced guys. And for me, that's what he's doing, they do. Coach, What's your name? Atabuku. From where? <laughs> We are trying to put our match reports together. But there is a sticking point for all of us here. Match report. Go and sit up there and put it together. Yes, yes, the sticking point is that we saw something that looked like an altercation. But when we were, you got some fine lines at the pitch, yes or no, sir? Were you hurt battered by any of the Ghana technical team members? And then, yes, what did you see to that person? I think I can just leave it. It's part of these things. Did it happen? Did you see something like that? I didn't feel it because at that time there were five minutes to go in the game. And I wanted to take the draw because if you cannot beat them, you don't lose. So I was not concerned with whatever happened. I didn't see it. You saw it? I did. On TV? Okay. That's why you pay to see. You pay, you pay money to see, you see? We'll take the last question and then we'll take the last question and wrap up. You pay to see. Hey, coach, uh, as a guy, my name is Biobi from the Liga Network. I know obviously you are so happy getting a draw here in Ghana. Not, uh, not really. I have mixed feelings. Okay, you have mixed feelings. Thank you for that because I'm just moving to that. Would you need to regret not uh, seeing Ghana getting the maximum points? Because after three matches, we only have two. Would you need to regret that Ghana, uh, you were actually the guy that uh, didn't allow Ghana to qualify for the 25? I think it's not Team Sudan. Sudan did not play Ghana three times. No, now Sudan has not played Ghana three times. Right? Three, Ghana played them. Um, Ghana. Yes, Ghana played three, uh, three, three games. Are we calling it this very No, no, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's. I'm, so what I'm saying is that. Ghana had three games to play. Sudan did not play all the three games. Sudan only played one out of those games. Ghana lost against the Angola. Don't you think in Kumasi that was the turning point of the something? Losing three points and gaining one point. Which one is better in football? Ah, you have not thought about that one. So maybe, because, because for us it is, it is not us. It is, it is the first game that cost Ghana. And maybe we couldn't Ghana, we couldn't react against uh, what is the name? Niger. That brought the pressure on Ghana, and it has nothing to do with us. I said it's the last question, but I will take I will take two questions for Abdul Rahman and. Oh, oh. I want to talk. Ask a question. Two questions for Abdul Rahman, and then we'll wrap up. Abdul, uh, you don't complain of the nature of the future. You had a you know first hand uh, sort of opportunity to play on this pitch. How would you describe it? Did you give the opportunity to play the kind of football that you instructed to? The pitch was too good. The pitch was good, so you can't complain about the pitch. We can't say anything about the conditions. You guys had your fans, the field was what you guys picked, and the field was good. So it was a good game, and we ex executed what we were told to do, and we played a good game. The last one. The last one for Abdul Rahman. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm okay, Kelvin. You met you met some quality attackers in the Ghana team. Jordan Ayew, Semenyor, Kudut. You know, though he struggled this season, he's one of the very top players. How does it feel now after playing against them? Were there any fear factor and after playing them now? How then did you feel? Were there any fear factor? As I said to you before, uh, there's no fear in football. Football is a game, we practice, we train, so we practice for these games, so, so when we come, we can execute and do our job. But as to answer your question about those players, quality players playing the highest divisions, highest level, but it's a game of football at the end of the day. We all go out there, 11 men against 11 men, and best, men, best team wins. Thank you very much, colleagues.